can't fuck with no anybody. Nah, nigga, you, you just ain't in post yourself. They're not having to be. The darker truth. Thank you to the darker truth for letting me cook this bitch. Thank you so much. Worried about the other people. And that's what I don't get. Why, oh, well, I'm going to go and work for these people. And then, you know, I'm going to bring that 100000 when that time you're going to make that 100000 over there, you can literally generate four hundred five hundred six hundred thousand for your family that's why you making a hundred thousand wherever you at because you generating six and seven times more than what you bring what they're paying you for surely so why do it over there when you can generate that for your own family can i jump in hello we can hear you oh, okay First of all, I, I, I said this yesterday. I commend anybody who wants to get an education, man or woman, wants to better themselves, wants to challenge themselves. I don't see anything wrong with that. Uh, second, in certain situations, I'll, I can only use mine because that's the only one I know. Um, unless I marry somebody in my field, there isn't anyone that can help me in my particular field because I'm a licensed professional. Um, if she wants to go and work and she brings home a certain amount, what I said yesterday still applies. With my check, we live off of. With her check, we're depositing the whole thing into retirement and whatnot for the kids, uh, for ourselves, things of that nature. So I think it's, I think it's very beneficial. I think it be, could be very helpful if she has an income and she's a team player and you're a team player and you and you do what you're supposed to do with your money uh as opposed to yeah i'm just going to do this and do this because one thing is for certain you can never get rich by working for anybody else my children have uh, a company of their own when the time comes when i'm up by the good lord's throne hopefully they um they can inherit it they can sell it they can do whatever but it's theirs so we accumulate by working together. Yes, we were uh, living off of my check, but at the same time, her check is going into retirement. Her check is going into uh, for the future for the kids. I land. So this this is my thing, Shug. I agree a hundred percent with what you just said and what Jerry just said. I can agree with that too. But the difference is, what is the overall mission? You get what I'm saying? And that's just like with anything in life, it's gonna be a sliding scale based on what people per, uh, perspective is. So if your perspective is, all right, I'm about to step up and uh, we about to make this shit a multi-million dollar, multi-billion dollar business. I got the blueprint and this is what I need everybody to do. You going to school for this, you doing this, you doing that. It ain't no fucking no. Like, this is what we doing for this generational wealth. And then what Jerry talking about is like, I yeah, if we go put this together, put that together. And then as long as I have something positive and progressive to leave to my kids, then I'm cool with that. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's two different extremes, but they're still both positive, though. But I see where you're coming from, though, sure. Because that's, you know what I mean? That's right, how right, I be right. thinking. Right, right, right. I'm not saying nobody shouldn't go get an education, etc. I'm just saying when you, you know, like I, I see um, a lot of times uh, in our community, we don't think about the family. We put our we put our personal interests above our family. And I think family is the most important thing that we can have because that's what builds our community. Well, I know my time has almost come and gone. I'm 50. So I burnt my 20s and 30s. And hell, even some of my 40s, um, I, I kicked it. I had... Uh, good times i had not so good times now it's time to make sure that at 50 you oh no my no my no my no my no my you got it you got it it's it's just me my mindset is i just got to make sure that my kids have something make sure that their kids have something because i uh one of them is in college right now and she's going to college not to learn like my man said not to learn to work for anybody else she's going to learn to work for herself um, she wants to have her own, and that's the mindset I'm putting into my kids. Yeah, for sure, man. Big salute. I was about to say, uh, I'm like, damn, that's like the third time I heard on this app that once you hit 50, it's time to start wrapping it up. But I, I get what you're saying, though. You know, uh, 
you trying to you putting way more emphasis and making sure that when you you know what I'm saying when you when you fly out of here that your kids good so I can respect that man I can respect it. Yeah, I respect that a thousand percent. The thing is, uh, like, I think, I think that sometimes, like, what I would I be getting hung up on, what I get hung up on, is when people say, "Well, I'm, I'm trying to get my own, right?" And, and the thing is, yeah, I understand that everybody on Clubhouse makes over six figures, but according to uh, that, you know, statistical data, that ain't the situation in life. Most people don't achieve that idealistic. Oh, uh, I'm gonna start my business. Is gonna scale to a million, two million, three million dollar uh, a, a month or a generational wealth business, where it's gonna keep money coming in even when I'm sleeping. Most businesses don't get to that point. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's if, if you have, if you have, uh, it's like working like a team. A team has a greater chance of success working together on one common idea than that same team working against like like working for each working for individual goals each working for individual goals you 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 kind of lose some of the steam that you can actually build up working for that quote unquote goal and then it can open up the door for all those other things to come because if i think about like people like the the, the Walton family you know and i'm using big whatever but sam walton's family if all those people um start if, if if they started out at the bottom now that this motherfucker make 250 i mean walmart and itself make 500 billion dollars a year almost 600 billion dollars a year and they own 51 percent, and everybody in the family owns billions and billions of dollars well everybody don't have to worry about whether or not this company is gonna make it you know whatever you want to do we can fund it we can finance it we can you can you can whatever you think you want we can actually make that happen because there was a a, a a group of us, a group of Waltons before the ones that are here today that all focused on one thing. And and, and they, 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 they created something that allowed that to happen for the future generations. So that that that's why I, where I get hung up on where everybody just focusing on getting them, getting them. Man, we gotta put something above ourselves personally. You know, we got to put our family and our communities above the individual or we'll never or we'll never get anywhere. So if I can add to that. OK, so I get where you're coming from and, and our family just took a different path. OK, so we have properties that we purchased that are for our children. I'm actually the businesses I have now. I'm planning for my grandchildren who are here on this. earth. OK, so I'm I'm looking now that my husband's not here, um, you know, we made a commitment to one another that if one or the other is not here, that we move forward. This is what we would like to see. I'm still walking that walk. Okay, so the the two house properties are here. Okay, one is completely paid off. One is about seventy percent paid off, and so these go to our children. And so the um, what I'm working on now is what we can do or what I can leave for my grandchildren. Um, I have money put aside. When I leave, they're going to be very well off. My insurances are squared away. Um, his insurances were squared away. Money was put aside for them. There are different ways of developing these things. And so he didn't want to have a business. I did. And my reason for wanting the business is something to pass on. But I, at the same token, um, I'm close to 60, right? Mm -hmm. And what I've seen a lot of my generation do is sell off what was left to them. And I asked them why. And they were like, I don't feel like doing this anymore. I don't even want this business. I don't feel like keeping up with it. And so that kind of made me think about, be careful what I'm sending or saving for my children because they may not want that. See, I don't look at the Waltons and, 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 and the rest of them because that's not me. I look and talk to my children. Hey, what do you guys, what would you guys like to do? You know, what would you need? And, and most of my children, I have four, um, have indicated they would prefer to have the money, which I can understand. And that was before they had children. Now that we have these conversations, they're like, you know, I, I wish I had a home. Guess what? Whatever I'm doing... I can do both, you know, 
but this is something my husband and I talked about leaving property, leaving funding, making sure they're good and continuous communication with our children. They have gone to school for many different things from medical to IT. And I get where they're coming from. And so this is what I'm setting them up. But I also at this time have things I like to do myself too, because my folks are grown. And so I'm doing something for myself and at the same token, doing something for my community because I buy people's groceries. I've paid people's rent. I've paid people's medications. I've sent food across the country. I'm always.